Well, hey guys, I'm Dr. Ben, founder of Well Health and Chiropractic. I'm excited to have you part of our six week weight loss challenge. That is such a hot topic right now, uh, trying to lose weight. You are watching this video because you are excited about losing weight, uh, increasing your energy, getting your body to burn fat. Uh, maybe you're somebody who's got thyroid issues or testosterone or estrogen dominance issues. Uh, maybe you're somebody who just, maybe you've tried to do things healthy for a while and you're ready to step up your game. Um, the stuff we're gonna talk about in this six-week challenge is, is really has a, a big purpose, two things. Number one is, yeah, we want to lose a little weight. That's your purpose. But number two, most importantly, is we want to get your body anti-inflammatory so that it's actually beating up and defeating cancer cells and heart disease and decreasing your chances of diabetes. We want to get your body healthy. In the meantime, we're going to get lose some weight. Does that sound good to me? Sounds good to me. How about Adam? What do you like? He likes it. Good. Our camera guy thinks that we're in. So specifically, we're going to be talking today about the keto diet. This is the ketogenic diet. You hear about this all the time. Uh, one of my really good friends, Josh Axe, Dr. Josh Axe, um, he's always talking about the ketogenic diet. Um, this is something that is really, really valuable. It's cool today. It, the purpose of the ketogenic diet is actually to put your body into an extreme fat burning mode. Um, now, there's a bunch of different diets out there. You're like, well, what's this kind of like Atkins diet a while back? Well, I don't recommend the Atkins diet. I'll explain a little bit why here. You'll probably see the why if, you, if you're already on the Atkins diet. Um, but uh, Atkins diet is actually kind of dangerous because it puts you into ketoacidosis. Um, this is the ketogenic diet, so it just puts you in ketosis. And there is a difference, um, and hopefully it'll pop itself out here as we get teaching. Now, the benefits of the keto diet. What this is going to do is this is actually going to help regulate your blood sugar, which is really going to get your body to burn fat. That is so important. Uh, your body has to burn fat for a whole lot of different reasons. Number one, if you want to lose fat, you got to burn fat. And if you're eating sugar, then your body's actually going to be uh, metabolizing sugar and storing fat. So the ketogenic diet is going to be all about putting your body into what's called ketosis. So that way it is going to be using fat as a primary source of fuel and not sugar. Now, just so we're clear, this is also not a high protein diet. So this is not a paleo diet. Um, paleo diets are really high in protein. Your body actually can use protein as a source of fuel as well. Protein doesn't just make your muscles. Protein also can be used as a source of fuel. And the problem with protein is fuel, then you're not going to be in ketosis, which doesn't put you in the keto diet. So hopefully those are the overviews. So the big thing, again, as we talk about our keto diet, number one thing is we're going to increase our, I'm going to put smiley face fats, because the trick here is good fats. Some people who do Atkins diets and high fat diets think that they're like eating healthy by eating like bacon wrapped cheeseburgers. Like that's not good for you. That definitely causes cancer and heart disease and inflammation and sore joints and eh, no good. We'll explain that. This is going to be increasing our healthy fats and decreasing, you guessed it, um, specific, I'm going to put the word carbs up here, but really just know that I mean sugar. I'm going to talk about that. So it's really going to be increasing our fats and decreasing our sugar is what that is. Okay. So that's going to be, that's going to be how the keto diet, the big, the big framework for the keto diet. So Top four things that we need to know about the keto diet. Actually, before we get started on that, sorry, um, we get started on is this is this is part of the six week weight loss challenge. So the framework for what we're going to be doing. If you're just now uh, watching this, there's going to be four videos that get unlocked. This is the first one. If you watch this one, it'll unlock the next video, and then the next video, and the next video. Because if you want to lose weight, um, nutrition is a great place to start. But there's other categories. Number uh, nutrition number one. Number two is going to be toxicity. If there's certain toxins that are in your body, your body actually won't lose weight. Specifically, um, your fat cells will not shrink if there's toxicity stuck in your fat cells. So we're going to show you on the detox portion how you can, you know, what are simple detoxes you can remove that are going to help your body to shed a lot of uh, water weight and shrink your fat cells. Um, the second thing we're going to uh, talk about other than diet is going to be exercise. There's actually a keto version of exercise um, that's going to be a specific way to get your body into a fat burning state. Um, a lot of people burn uh, fat the slow way. We're going to show you how to burn the fat the fast way. And then the fourth thing we're going to talk about really is decreasing our stress. Um, because when you have stress, it increases a, a hormone called catecholamine. And you need to be able to decrease that hormone if you want to lose weight. We'll talk all about doing that um, and Jesus and some other fun stuff. So uh, hang on. Uh, make sure that you watch all these. Uh, if you're somebody who needs to space these out, you can watch one per day or every other day, however you want to do it. Um, the way this is set up is as soon as you watch one, you can watch the next one. Um, so basically, 
basically you'll be able to watch, uh, if you wanted to watch all four of these videos like today, you'll be able to do that probably in about an hour. Uh, but we're gonna get started today with food. Here we go. So the keto diet. Um, basically the big things here are we're going to decrease our carbs. Now I want you to really understand that when I'm talking about carbs, I'm not, carbohydrates is a massive category. That includes good starches and vegetables and you know certain fruits. And carbs also is, the, is cookies and donuts and, and milk and cheese and all that stuff. So, so we need to separate that. So we want to decrease our starchy carbohydrates. Okay, now, you all should know what that is at this point in your life. So what is a starchy carbohydrate? Uh, which, by the way, if you need some food lists, lists you're going to be able to see, um, you should be able to download a food list on our website, fooduniversity.tv. I'm going to push you to that website as well, fooduniversity.tv. Um, I think right now the module one is free, and that will have a full food list on that. So make sure you get that food list, Food University. Dot TV, um, and it's going to teach more of all this stuff, the specifics. But so the basics of our starchy carbs are going to be grains, uh, sugars. Uh, basically, grains and sugars are the two big things. And our starches, processed foods, of course, our number one source of sugar in the United States is what? Soda right? Drink specifically. So soda, of course, here in the South is sweet tea. Uh, sweet tea and soda by far is the number one caloric intake in the United States. Sugar causes inflammation, weight gain, heart disease, cancer. All the research shows it actually inflames your arterial walls, which um, causes uh, heart disease. So it's bad. Uh, there's seven times as many receptor sites for sugar on a cancer cell as a regular cell. So when you eat sugar, you feed cancer. Remember that. You, when you eat sugar, you feed cancer. By the way, diet soda is even worse. Diet soda causes insulin resistance, and the thing that they use uh, for most diet, which is aspartame, actually causes cancer. It's a two-step process. It goes aspartame uh, to methane to formaldehyde. Don't quote me on the middle one, but it goes to formaldehyde. Formaldehyde, of course, is embalming fluid, which is on the top 10 carcinogen list. So you all definitely, if you use diet sodas, you're asking your body for cancer. There it is. No apologies. It is what it is. If you like Diet Coke, I'm sorry. Find something else. Am I allowed to say that, Adam? I think so. I, you know, I just said that. Here we go. I still love you, but you need to find something else, right? Of course, the big thing here, uh, number two, is we're going to increase our healthy fats. Now, again, this is different than um, if you are somebody who has seen uh, the paleo diet. Paleo diet, I am not a fan of, and I'll tell you why. It's because of the source of the fat and the protein. They don't care. You can eat pigs. You can eat terrible farm-raised pigs that have been injected with everything, and they don't care. It's bacon, whatever. It's fat, and it's pig. That is terrible for you, right? You have to make sure that you are eating the healthy fats. That's going to be the good source of grass-fed beef, wild free-range chicken and turkeys, and wild-caught fish. Again, if you're watching this, and you're, I'm kind of going over a lot of the food real fast, fooduniversity.tv is an exhaustive list of exactly the nutrition um, that you want to be eating for the, for the keto diet. Um, and I'll talk about what that means. But Food University, if you want to learn more about this, fooduniversity.tv, uh, the membership is free uh, for module one. Okay. Um, of course, the third thing here, the best part is, is what this does is this forces um, your body to increase fat burning. And why is that such a big deal? Because when you eat sugar, your body has to burn sugar. When you, when you eat sugar and fat, your body burns sugar and stores fat. When you reduce the sugar, now your body goes into ketosis and burns fat. The cool part is this is actually a really fast way, right? This is, we're gonna do quick, I'm gonna put quick with a smiley face, way to lose weight. Because <clears throat> what this is going to do, by the way, and why the ketogenic diet is so beneficial is really there's, there's more than one way that you are obese, right, or you have more weight to lose. And the number one way, probably 90% of people, is because their blood sugar is unstable. And when their blood sugar is high, um, their body burns sugar and stores fat. And for 90% of people that need to lose weight, this is your trick. This is your dietary trick, and that's why the keto diet, by the way, it's not new. It's been around for about 90 years, I think. Um, I read somewhere, started in the 20s. Um, but honestly, it's been around for a long time because this is kind of how Jesus ate, because <laughs> that's all you had. Um, <laughs> low, low carbohydrates, high fat diet, because that's just what you ate. Um, anyways, 
So as we get started here, um, so again, this is, this is the purpose of this. So if you want to lose weight in six weeks, we're going to start working on the ketogenic diet. If you want to learn more and more and more about that food, we're going to go to fooduniversity.tv. Um, now, there are three big things we want here. We want our healthy fats, right? We're going to learn things like avocados. Uh, it's very important, avocados, your coconut oils, olive oil, you need to be doing smoothies for breakfast or eggs and avocado for breakfast. Um, again, we're not just going to be loading up on protein. We want very, very good source protein. What we're looking for here is non-starchy veggies. Hopefully you know what I mean by this. So what are your starchy veggies? We should all know this by now. What are starchy veggies, right? We've got, say it to the computer screen, <laughs> starchy veggies are going to be your potatoes, right? Your potatoes, your peas. Um, and that's both going to be sweet potato and white potato. Your peas, your beans actually fall in that category, and your moderate starchies. Um, but then your big, big starchies are going to be your wheat, right? So it's super starchy because um, wheat is considered a starchy vegetable. All right? And then the third thing, of course, is we're going to moderate our protein. This is not going to be a massive protein diet. Um, so if we're so our healthy fats are actually going to be about 80%. Or let me put this, up to 80% of your food intake is going to be healthy fats. And this is really going to be about 10 to 15%. Um, I know that if you do the quick math on that, that's 105%. That doesn't make sense. However, we're talking up to 80%, um, but there are going to be non-starchy veggies in there. So what does this look like? Number one, so what are the main rules with the ketogenic diet? The ketogenic diet is really, if you are strict, and I'm going to make sure that we have a line item here. So this is going to I'm going to put... I'm going to do this in red here. So if you're strict, then you're going to be somebody that's going to be doing 20 to 30 gram, net grams of sugar or net grams of carbs. Let me explain what that means. So when I say a net gram, so a net gram basically means if you took the total sugar minus fiber, equals, I'm going to put it this way so you can see it, equals net uh, carbs. Let's see if I can spell today. Net carbs, okay? So basically, we want 20 to 30 sugary carbs per day, or no more than that. And just to put that in perspective, one soda, generally like a Sprite, 20 ounce Sprite, is 64 grams of pure sugar. So you couldn't drink a third of a soda and still barely be in this net carbs. Now, the cool part is, is that the advantage of the keto diet is that you can definitely eat non-starchy vegetables and you can fill up on them. There's a lot of diets that don't let you fill up on that, uh, but these you absolutely can um, it, with the strict. So if you're going to look up, and how do you look up the grams of things? So there's a thing called the glycemic index. The glycemic index is how much sugar is in food or how quickly does your body break down food into sugar. If you want to learn more about that, again, fooduniversity.tv. Um, and that's going to be your strict. Now, if you're somebody who is not, you don't want to go into the keto diet just wanting to fail. So if you need a, like a little bit of a breather in here, just know that the non-strict version of the keto diet, which is still good, is 30, I'm going to write it up here, 30 to 50 net grams. Okay, so if you think that you can't do 20 to 30, just know that 30 to 50 still works. And that's going to be net grams. You can look at that on the back of a food label. You can look at that on the glycemic index. But you do need to be looking at the food, um, how much sugar is in the food that you eat. After you've done this for a while, you actually don't have to look anymore. You just know that, you know, you can only eat so many. You know, sweet potatoes are fine. You just can't pig out on sweet potatoes all day long because they fill you up. You know, you're going to learn secrets like quinoa, uh, spelled quinoa. Quinoa is going to actually it's more like a bean in its properties, but it tastes like rice. Uh, and you can eat a little bit more quinoa. Um, even though it's a moderate, you can still use it to fill you up. Okay? So hopefully you understand that net gram of carbs. Um, Number two here is going to be obviously water. When you're doing the ketogenic diet, when you put your body in ketosis, you have to flush it. This is different. If you don't, you're going to get a lot of foggy headedness. Um, you're going to, you could feel bad. You could, it could actually drain some of your energy. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to get your body flushed out with a lot of good water. Okay. And then the third thing is our biggest, re biggest resource. I want you to write this down. Fooduniversity.tv. If you're watching this, it's because you're going to get a free module one um, of fooduniversity.tv. Go to that website, plug in your information. Um, um, I think if you click on it, you got to 
you get to set a cool password and everything. There's no credit card required, um, but uh, you put in your password and you'll get access to module one that has a downloadable food list. And it's a really good source. Uh, it's a really good food list. I'm gonna, you'll like it. Um, and that talk, Food University module one, is really the baseline. Tons of nutrition, talks all about sources of food, where do you get it, how do you get it. I give you some examples of breakfasts, lunch, and dinner. Um, we get into that. Actually, my wife is wanting to shoot a bunch of um, cooking videos to put in there as well. That'll be part of Food University. So make sure that you are all into that. So hopefully, this makes sense to you. This is the six-week weight loss challenge. Now, if you're somebody who's doing the six week weight loss challenge, uh, what you need to do right now is make sure that you are on a team. There are three teams. The first team is the doctors, right? And their team name is Mission Slim Possible, right? Mission Slim Possible. So that's gonna be the Hendersonville doctors, uh, Dr. Choppa and Dr. Carey. They're gonna tell you, obviously on their team, they're gonna communicate with you. They're the accountability portion. So how this particular uh, six week challenge is gonna, is gonna work is I'm gonna be teaching you via video, via internet teaching of how to, of what to do for your challenge. What the teams are gonna do is number one is hold you accountable. They're the ones that are also gonna do your weigh-ins and your way outs. Um, and the team as a whole has the ability to win if your whole team wins, uh, which is gonna be cool. Um, and there's one other thing, oh yeah, and then that's really gonna be your, uh, your specific question. So as you're doing this, you're gonna to say to yourself, I don't know where the nuts fall in this category. I'm not gonna tell you, I'm gonna make you ask your team, right? Um, they can answer those questions, field those questions, um, and you'll be able to um, email and contact them, they'll be good. So the doctors are mission slim, pass, uh, slim possible. Um, the girls team, oh, they just told me. I can't remember what it is. Oh yeah, fabulous, that's right, fabulous. Fabulous, that's the front desk girls in the Hendersonville office. And then the East Nashville office is just called Beastie. <laughs> so East Nashville is just called Beastie. So those are the three teams. There will be a winning team. So depending on who's in the teams, uh, whichever team sees the most weight loss, and we're going to figure it out if it's percentage or whatnot, um, that whole team is going to win something um, from our juice bar. So you're either going to get like a 10 or $20 uh, gift certificate to the juice bar, or you're going to just win something, we're just going to order some something, so everybody on that team wins. Um, also, we're going to be raffling off, uh, today, we're going to be raffling off a treadmill, and we're going to give away a treadmill, yes, you heard me, treadmill now, it's a slightly used treadmill, and it's a, it's a little janky, and if you don't want it, you don't have to have it, <laughs> but it's a treadmill nonetheless, we're going to be raffling it off for somebody who wants it, and then the third thing we're going to give away is, um, Somebody is going to get uh, the grand prize person who loses the, the most weight. Um, there's gonna be a big old grand prize, um, which I can't even remember at this point what it is. But it's gonna be really nice, you're gonna like it. So make sure you click on team. Uh, make sure you have your team, you're all set to go. Watch this video. When this one's done, watch your detox, watch your exercise, and then watch your decre decreased stress. Do that in six weeks. I'm excited to hear about your weight loss challenge. I've been doing this every year for 10 years in my career, and we have seen massive amounts of weight loss. The, the most weight I've ever seen, uh, a guy lost 100 pounds. Um, he actually wound up doing about six months, but he lost 100 pounds in six months. So if he can do it, you can do it. And I'm super excited. It changed his life, and I want to change yours. Guys, I'm Dr. Ben, and I can't wait to hear your miracles.